Like, look at this place. Look at this place. This place used to be packed with people. Now it's empty. Ah, welcome back, boys and girls, to another video this year. A very unfortunate year. 2020 has been very, very interesting. Yeah, a lady touched the thing with it all, but... Hey, doggy! First part of the year, we had the Australian bushfires. That was a very terrible scenario. Secondly, it was the rain, the flooding and everything. And then now this, the pandemic. Yeah, this one's reached the entire world, which is so screwed up. So Australia's been having a rough start, I'd say. This global pandemic has really screwed up the entire world. Life as we know it has changed drastically. Like, this is a very, very touchy subject to talk about. And I don't feel comfortable talking about it, but, you know, it's the world we live in right now. Yeah, it's going to be part of the daily norm for quite a bit, supposedly, but we just hope this nightmare ends. Yeah, so, not gonna lie. Cancel. 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 Cancel! Goodbye. Goodbye to you too. Yeah, so I'm actually just riding around, seeing what the Gold Coast is like right about now. Um, yeah, man, there's, there's so many things have changed. It's sad to see things change like this. But, like I said, it's for good reasons. It's for good reasons. Like, this place used to be flooded with people. People, kids, you know, just having fun, enjoying life. So, businesses as well, man, yeah, highly affected by this global pandemic. It's very scary. Like, there's no, there's no kids on the playground anymore. So, the rule is when you're based in a group, you're supposed to be approximately 1.5 meters apart from one another. I uh, go out only groups of two at the moment. Uh, what's it, the government and stuff, the health officials saying it's still safe to be around more than two people, but just for our own safety, they're restricted it down to two to just try and help reduce the you know what. I said this place used to be flooded with people. So your restaurants are closed down. It's just, oh, that scooter had um, cruiser handlebars on it. It was very interesting. Like, it's even got to the point where, you know, I was walking around Bunnings and Coles, you know, grab whatever I needed to get. Like, I don't hoard anything, but you just get what you need and go home, you know? You don't need to have a shopping trolley full of things. But, um, yeah, it got to the point where, you know, people in Woolworths, Bunnings, Coles, you know, all the major shopping outlets for essential needs. Um, yeah, holy Christ, everyone, you know, was just on edge, you had people wearing face masks, gloves. Yeah, it got to the point where this lady and this bloke, you know, was walking in my direction. And I, was, I was looking for things and then they sort of, you know, backed off a little bit, kept their distance from me like I was contagious, but... See, and it's 10 o'clock right now. You know, there used to be people at that restaurant right ahead, you know. Right now it's only takeaway only to keep businesses going, you know, but most of the money comes in from customers going in, you know. Takeout is just, you know, it's not the same. People want to enjoy the meals at a good spot, you know, a good location, good restaurant, wherever. It's been highly enforced. You get an $1,100 to $1,600 fine if you get caught, you know, with like two people or more. Like, it makes sense, but Jesus, man. It's very, very touchy subject to talk about right now. So yeah, I threw my actress slip on just for today and a couple of days later, you know, just, I'm trying to keep myself low key. I'm not trying to get myself in trouble because police are patrolling the streets, dude. I mean, like, I had police patrol my streets just because, I don't know, they're probably looking for, you know, possible house parties, large gatherings. Like, it's just not normal. Like, the government had to do something to take over. I mean, like, this is a, it's a little bit crazy, but, you know, take all the precautions you can get. Uh, so we're currently headed right now towards Esperland. 
the Esplanade on Surf's Paradise to see what else is going on around there, right? Look at that, look at that, it's just empty. This place is empty. Jesus Christ, dude. This is not normal, especially for the Gold Coast. See, there used to be cars parked right here. Look, even the kids' playground is barricaded off for safety. Like, look at this place, look at this place. This place used to be packed with people. Now it's empty. See, that entire courtyard is empty. This courtyard is empty. That is empty. That is empty. Like, everywhere is just empty. Absolute empty. This is not normal. Everywhere is empty. There used to be people at this cafe too. Jesus Christ. See, it's still takeout, which is good, but most of the money comes from people who actually go into the store. Yeah. See, this place used to be full of people. They used to stare at me because I'm wearing all this gear and there's no one there. This is almost like something out of a horror movie, you know, but to what extent? Look, come on dude, seriously. Ellen. How can you not see that lady? See, I don't really want to talk about, you know, what's like what the real deal is because it's just one of those things you know like I hate bad things happening to good people but I, it's hard to put it in words and so far there have been nearly 800 cases of this you know outbreak just directly here in Queensland look at this man this, this is such a beautiful place and just for this thing to hit Australians it's you know it's just See, personally, I'm not scared, but it's just sad to see, you know, stuff happen like this to good people. See, she just take out everywhere, you know, there used to be people sitting around everywhere, enjoying their life. And then now, look at it, it's all turned upside down. So you people used to be at this park, each and every one of these parking spots used to be taken. See, like I said, look, there's not even a child playing on the children's playground. See, you can't really actually just go out and enjoy yourself anymore, you know. It's gotten to the point where you just got to be careful with what you do. The streets normally pack a little bit. There's almost barely no cars. Well, I wouldn't say barely, but there's almost no cars out on the road. Look at this, look at this. This is where all the fish, you know, restaurants, I don't know what the hell there is in there, but look at it, it's just empty. Literally everything's empty, even the hotel. They used to have two Rolls Royces parked out the front. Luxury cars, everything, it's empty. See, that was another good fish and chip restaurant, empty. Jesus, see, SeaWorld is empty and it's normally open nowadays. Like, it's normally just packed full of people again. And it's just I'm still finding out that it's still empty. This place used to be filled again with SeaWorld employees parking their vehicles for the SeaWorld Resort just up here. I guarantee it's empty, watch. Look at that, no one, almost no one. No visitors, no nothing, no one wants to stay in the resorts because there's a high risk, you know, counting a large group of people here. Everything is just empty. And it's a bit of a shame ripping all these trees down. I hope they don't actually build the bloody cruise ship terminal here. They're all about saving the environment, but still they take down trees to do it. Oh yeah, let's save the environment. Yeah, look at him, he meant like, look at these trees you're taking down. If you're gonna talk about saving trees, you know, saving the environment, it's just stop ripping trees. It's as simple as that. If the area doesn't involve ripping down trees, then go for it. Look at this, it's almost no boats, no jet skis, no nothing. Absolutely nothing. I'll tell you what though, you'd be, you're probably a little bit safe on a boat, but suck to just, um, bloody, yeah, it suck to get stuck out there without any supplies. You know, jet ski runners and everything, you know, just, you know, people enjoying the life on the Gulf Coast and look at it, just got, sh everything just got shut down. Look at this. I've never seen the waterway this empty before. 
so you got the one boat but normally there's like quite a few of them the whole waterway from here and there's absolutely no one out. Jesus man. Look at that. See? Look at this. Look at this man. This is so empty. There used to be cars everywhere here. You know there's a lot of things going on that's just missing. People used to be waiting at that bus stop. You know non-stop. Everything here has just totally changed. Like everywhere it's just empty guys. It's, oh my god yeah, Seriously, I normally come and ride in the city to sort of, you know, feel the vibe of just, you know, everyone's enjoyment here on the Gold Coast And right now the vibe is just sort of dead You want you want to try and help, but there's, there's literally, like, there's not much you can do about the whole situation You know, like, look at this, man, every, nearly every restaurant is almost closed Not unless there's those very few that are still willing to offer takeout no, but seriously, man. It's almost as bad as New South Wales and Queensland border, directly like an hour over there, south. But they, they locked it down to the point where there's checkpoints, you know, people trying to get in and out of the state. It's that serious, yeah. Like, it is a serious matter, because this is like worldwide, but far out, man. only one person on that tram you know apart from the the operator and there's one two three three people on a tram no one's at packed there that place used to be crawling with people look at this see women are wearing a mask and this pandemic has hit Aussies hard especially in New South Wales where their number count of confirmed cases is 2100 all right that's 2100 people it's nearly 2200 even if they're next to me keeping social distancing from the car in front but might stop it from the side they, it's changed to the point where you know just the stupidest things you know happen here we're, we're civilized people and then you know it's just bad to the point where people are just getting desperate you know like for example the whole toilet paper fiasco you got idiots fighting over toilet paper one got arrested and the other one got tased and arrested it's just like seriously guys you know we're, we're human beings you know help each other out grab what you need and go home don't just stack things for yourselves you know you got other people who need this stuff more than you guys do you know food for example as well you know like seriously grab what you need for for a week and then come back the next week when more stuff is stock piled up again grab what you need again if you want to ha have a little bit extra have a little bit extra you know if but if you see other people you know in line for the same product as you leave some for them it's that casual it's that simple and not to say it like it makes like this is this what i mean it pisses me off we're, we're all about you know good health and good lives and stuff but you know when it comes to the desperate determination of just you know self-interest you know it, it it just you know people just turn on each other just like that you know help each other out yes there are some bad people out there but still i'm still i'm still willing to throw a helping hand they're willing to bite the hand that's helping them out well okay well Good luck to you there. Play a role in this, you know, help each other out in the time of need. And this is a time of need right now. We need to help each other out. Take care of each other, look out for one another. People are that desperate for toilet roll. <laughs> I mean like, seriously, there's other ways around it. You buy a stack of 24, right? That's the most common one people are trying to get now. It's the one with the most quantity. If you're smart about it and there's not enough and then you got one person fighting over it and you need some, split it in half. It's, it's that easy. No, divide the cost if you guys are willing to go that far and just split it in half. Then you then you both got some. Like, wow man. Wow. Just people are now stupid nowadays. Oh Jesus, butterfly. So for example, right? I had no rice whatsoever. There's nothing at Woolworths, Coles, anything here on the Gold Coast, right? Even some of the Asian shops. I had to go all the way to Bristol to go buy a 20 kilo bag of rice mate when i went there whole oh christ there was 
at least a good 20 plus bags or 20 kilos of you know of rice i could have easily bought five but i only took the one i only took what i need and left the rest for you know others who need it food's still coming take what you need go home stop hoarding things guys seriously i can't talk crap because i'm i hoard bullets right now <laughs> jesus I'm so messed up. Get what you need, go home, come back another day. I'm not really gonna keep talking about it. Cause it just, the more I talk about it, the more it makes me upset. Uh, just how selfish some people are nowadays too. And the world's going to sh You know, I, mean, I seriously hope it does get better. But I'm just gonna go to the mountains, just take my mind off things, I'm not gonna go fast, I'm just gonna cruise. And I'm not in the mood to just do dumb things today. Um, yeah guys, I'm sorry if this was sort of a negative video, but... Like... I... Uh, so yeah, we're gonna be up at Springbrook. Fine, I'm not gonna go too hard, but... I'm just gonna try and draw myself here. Sorry if the vlog is all negative and stuff, but... You know, I'm just showing you what it's like around here right now. Alright, but in the meantime, you guys stay safe, take care, wash your hands. I'll see you guys on the next one. Good night, mate. Peace. <laughs>